In this tutorial, we'll show you two ways to build a barcode scanning app for Android and iOS using NetMaui. For our first app, we'll use the Zebra Crossing NetMaui controls package. For the second one, we'll use the ScanBot Barcode Scanner SDK. If this is the first time developing a NetMaui application on your machine, make sure you have the latest .NET version for your development platform of choice and Microsoft's build of OpenJDK 17. If you haven't already done so in the past, also install the necessary workloads using the command sudo.net workload install Maui. Let's begin setting up our first app. Open a terminal and create a project directory. Then navigate into it and run the command .NET new Maui. Now install the Zebra Crossing Nugget package with the command .NET add package Zebra Crossing Net Maui controls dash dash version 040. Next, open Maui program CS and import the package. Within the create method, add the use barcode reader method to integrate the plugin into the app's configuration. Your app needs access to the device camera to read barcodes. For Android, add the permission to your Android manifest XML file. For iOS, add an entry to the info plist file. Now that we've configured the camera permissions, open main page XAML and add the barcode reader control. Include the appropriate XML namespace and replace the file's boilerplate with the camera barcode reader view control. Now that we've set up the UI, we have to configure the barcode reader's behavior in main page XAML CS. In this step, you can specify which barcode formats your app should recognize and whether it should handle multiple barcodes simultaneously. We'll go with a minimal configuration. Let's also include some code that prevents continuous scanning of the same barcode. Finally, we need to handle the event that's triggered when a barcode is detected. We'll use the barcodes detected method for that. This code will listen for barcode detection events and then display a message in a pop-up alert. The pop-up will also contain a button, which the user can press to close the alert. This is what our code looks like in the end. Let's give the scanner a try. Now we'll build a second app, this time using the ScanBot Barcode Scanner SDK for NetMaui. First, we're going to implement single barcode scanning in our app. Afterwards, we'll adapt the scanner to support multi-barcode scanning and implement an R overlay. As before, create a project directory, navigate into it, and run .NET New Maui. And once again, add camera permissions to your Android manifest, as well as the info p list. To install the ScanBot SDK, open your c -sharp project file and add references to its Nugget packages based on the target framework. Make sure to save your project and then run .NET Restore. When that is done, open Maui Program CS. First, import the SDK. Then add a constant for the license key. For this tutorial, we'll leave it empty, since the scanner will still run for 60 seconds per session, even without a license key. But if you like, you can get one on the ScanBot SDK website. Now we're going to initialize the SDK and configure the error handling.
Next, open your Android app's main activity CS file and add the dependency manager to the onCreate method. If there's no onCreate method, add the code to the main activity class, as we're doing here. Now open main page XAML CS and add the necessary imports. We'll replace the onCounterClick method with our own code. It configures our barcode scanner with the default behavior and implements a text pop-up showing a barcode's type and encoded data when scanned. Now go to main page XAML and edit the counter button so it calls our start barcode scanner method when clicked. That's all we needed to set up for single barcode scanning. Build and run the Android or iOS app with the corresponding command. As you can see, the barcode scanner is already fully functional, but we're now going to configure it to scan multiple barcodes and display their values on the scanning screen using an AR overlay. For that, go back to main page XAML CS and below where we define the configuration variable, create a new instance of the multiple scanning mode and assign it to a use case variable. Then modify this object to enable the AR overlay and disable the automatic selection of barcodes as they enter the scanning area. This will require the user to select them manually instead. Also disable the viewfinder since having it doesn't make much sense when using the AR overlay. Finally, apply the configuration. Now build and run the app again and try out the new scanning behavior. Congratulations! You've successfully built not one but two cross-platform barcode scanning apps for iOS and Android using NetMaui. To learn more about the other customization options the ScanBot Barcode Scanner SDK has to offer, check out the documentation. Link in the description below. Happy scanning!